so good afternoon. My name is Joanna Hauzakowska. I am 18 years old and I'm a third grade student in Stasis High School in Warsaw. And my majors are biology, chemistry and mathematics. Ever since I remember, my biggest interest was science, especially chemistry. And I have plenty of achievements in this field. For example, this year I won a finalist title in Chemistry Olympiad and I also have other successes connected to chemistry. Last year, uh, in my second grade, I took part in an internship uh, at Warsaw University of Technology, uh, conducting a research on a type of beta blocker, uh, on a synthesis of a type of beta blocker. So uh, beta blockers uh, is a group of drugs that is used to cure hypertension and other heart illnesses. Uh, outside uh, uh, I, I also like to share my knowledge with others. So uh, with a couple of my friends, we organize uh, extracurricular classes at my school for first grade students uh, where we prepare them uh, and teach them how to uh, and prepare them how to participate uh, in chemistry olympiad next year um, outside of school uh, i have two great passions uh, i am very passionate about sports uh, especially swimming and uh, i have a younger lifeguard license Mm, and my second biggest passion are Rubik's Cubes. Uh, I regularly take part in international and national competitions where the goal is to solve uh, a Rubik's Cube in the shortest time possible. Where the goal is to solve uh, a Rubik's Cube in the shortest time possible. And I was also a European record holder uh, in women's category uh, in solving a Rubik's Cube with my feet. Uh, and like I said earlier, uh, I like to share my knowledge with others. Uh, so uh, as a form of charity work, uh, I give lessons where I teach people how to solve uh, a Rubik's Cube and be better at them, uh, how to solve uh, them faster. Uh, and right now I would like to show you uh, a really short video of me solving uh, a Rubik's Cube at one of the competitions I took part in. Uh, and this was what my best solve at this round. Uh, it took around nine seconds. Okay, uh, thank you. So even though chemistry is right now my main interest and my favorite subject at school, uh, I would like to connect my future plans to medicine. I would like to be a doctor and help others. And right now, my favorite speci specialization that I would like to pursue in the future uh, is neonatology. So it's a field of medicine that deals with newborn babies, uh, especially the ill ones and the premature ones. Uh, having been born as a premature child myself, uh, I would like to participate in research and in the development of this field. And neonatology uh, is a field of medicine that requires a lot of new technologies. Uh, and that is why I would like to participate in this scholarship. Since I'm interested in the technological development of medicine, um, I am aware that Stanford University is one of the top universities when it comes to medical research. Uh, I'm not only interested in what the Stanford University looks like, uh, but I would like to also discover how students work and how they can be engaged in the process of research. Uh, and speaking of research and technologies, uh, NASA Ames Research Center uh, is also a very interesting place for me that we will be able to visit uh, during this trip uh, and acquire knowledge of. Outside of scientific benefits of this trip, I'm also looking forward to getting to know the American culture and the American way of living. And I think that this trip will be beneficial for me on many different levels and I will be immensely grateful for the opportunity and I promise to use it to the fullest. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much. Uh, in this next part of the interview, each member of the committee will ask you some question uh, that will allow us to get to know you better and determine your compatibility with our program. So. Let's go and uh, please, uh, Piotr. 
your yeah, time. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for very convincing uh, um, presentation. I'm impressed by your self confidence in such a, such an early stage of your of your career. I can't even uh, uh, imagine what will happen next. Thank you. Mm, but congratulations, that's really another. Uh, okay, you, um, your essay was about uh, Maria Skłodowska Curie, mm -hmm. uh, great person, charismatic uh, woman. But mm -hmm. uh, uh, I read it twice and I couldn't find any single word uh, about Piotrki. Don't you think that even if you are a charismatic woman, scientist, uh, partnership, uh, husband, family matters or, 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 or doesn't matter? Uh, I think that family uh, is uh, really does really matter, uh, and uh, she she spent time with uh, her family, her husband, uh, and also her children. Uh, she took really good care of her children, for example, uh, and uh, I I think that uh, she she also loves his husband. Uh, they they together won uh, a Nobel Prize. Mm, but uh, I know that uh, her husband died at uh, an early age uh, uh, because of an accident. Uh, and so it matters. Uh, Partnership and yes, uh, yes, uh, family, family really matters. Matters. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, uh, Tomek, would you like to ask about something? Yeah, uh, how did you come up with <clears throat> solving the cubes with uh, with your feet? It's it, it's quite amazing. Yeah. Uh, can you can you t tell us a, a little bit more about that? Uh, okay, so at first, obviously, I, I learned how to solve uh, a Rubik's cube with my hands, uh, and uh, I I once saw uh, I think on TV or or in the internet uh, that someone could solve uh, a Rubik's cube with his feet, uh, and there was also an opportunity uh, at uh, the competition uh, to to participate in this event, uh, and uh, I set myself a goal that. Uh, I'll be able to solve this cube in less than two minutes uh, by, by the time uh, this competition will be. Uh, and uh, I achieved this goal. Uh, and that, that's how uh, I started solving Rubik's cubes with my feet. Great. Okay, thank you. Uh, the question number two, um, the biggest crisis situation uh, you have ever experienced, what was it? Uh, how did you manage uh, the situation and what was the impact on the people around you? Mm -hmm. uh, that's uh, a really interesting question. Um, I, I try to remember anything that uh, happened lately uh, that, that was uh, very sad for me. Uh, I think that uh, one of the saddest memories that uh, I have is the death of my grandfather, and uh, this really uh, was, this was a really sad experience uh, for the whole family. Uh, and mm -hmm. I think that this was the the crisis that I had. Uh, but I, after some time, uh, it. Uh, the sadness uh, was better, and, and I I didn't feel it that much. Understood. Thank you. And the last question: Complete the sentence using only six words. I am the right candidate because six words, not less, not more. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think that I'm the right candidate because uh, I I'm really uh, organized. Uh, and uh, mm, uh, once I set myself a goal, uh, I do everything to achieve it. But six words. Okay. Uh, Diana, not more, not less. Mm -hmm. I assume that this is important to you. So uh, I wanted to, 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 to hear the essence of, of why you are the right candidate. Mm -hmm. uh, so. Okay, so I think uh, I'm uh, very organized uh, and uh, patient uh, mm, 
and uh, I, I do everything that I can to. Okay. Uh, okay. Thank you very much. That's all for me. Thank you. Okay. So, <clears throat> Joanna, Asha, uh, what benefits do you see for, but for your community in connection with your, with your possible uh, scholarship trip to Silicon Valley? So, tell me, so uh, is it a trip or something else? Mm, it, it's obviously something else for me. Uh, it's a trip. It's it's really interesting uh, to to go to the United States because I've never been there, uh, and I always wanted to go there and uh, learn more things about the American culture. Uh, but uh, I, like I said in my presentation, I like to share my knowledge with others. So uh, after I I uh, returned to to Warsaw to Poland, uh, I would like to share my experience with uh, my friends. Uh, and uh, hopefully they, they also uh, they can also learn from it some uh, interesting things. Okay. So uh, tell me, is solving a Rubik's cube a way to develop creativity, or is it a reproductive learning of many logical patterns and algorithms? algorithm try to explain me what is for you mm, i think it's a combination of both uh, because uh, you every solve is different and and there are a lot of possibilities how to solve uh, a rubik's cube there are a lot of methods uh, and uh, obviously you have to learn some algorithms uh, to be able to solve it uh, but uh, the you there are other uh, parts that are there values that are more important than uh, than learning algorithms for example uh, it's choosing the right situation uh, to solve first uh, choosing the right pieces to solve first because uh, it uh, takes less time mm. okay thank you very much so let's summarize uh, who would like to start. Tomek? Um, I like your presentation. I like uh, your motivation letter um, and essay. Uh, a lot of achievements, a lot of successes. Uh, the feedback and a little piece of advice for you is to, whenever you do this kind of uh, presentation put a little more smile and energy to, mm -hmm. to, to it uh, because then when you start uh, you know uh, asking you a question then we we, we, we started uh, seeing Johan mm -hmm. um, in, the, in the first part you, you were kind of so 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 tight with uh, with what you wanted to say mm -hmm. that you maybe you missed this so smile and energy thank mm -hmm. you okay thank you okay Piotr would you like to add something? Yeah, what, what I said, uh, I'm absolutely impressed by, by your self-confidence in such a really uh, early stage of your, of your professional career. And what is important, uh, important is that you're um, able to keep the, the, the proper balance between the hobbies and between uh, um, uh, uh, duties, uh, which is uh, mostly as cool. I strongly believe after reading your essay that uh, um, uh, chemistry and biology is uh, not only uh, a duty, but it's uh, a sort of a hobby uh, as well. And of course, uh, you have a very strong motivation to, to, to learn more, to help people, which uh, sounds for me amazing. And uh, what I'd like to believe in is that uh, this is something what you believe in. And you will be keep on running this way. So keep on running this way. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Unfortunately, our interview is coming to an end. Uh, we are, we are uh, very grateful for your time and efforts, and we'll get back to you shortly. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Bardzo dziękujemy. Dziękuję.